Hello friends, welcome to Speed Math Classes. In this episode, I'm going to tell you how to find square of a number if you know square of the adjacent number. For example, if you know square of 40, I can tell you how to find 41 square and 39 square. Or if you know the square of 75, I'll tell you how to find square of 74 and 76 in just two seconds. So let's have a look. For example, if we have 40 square, so we can find 41 square and 39 square in just two seconds. So before going forward, I will tell you answer of 41 square. 41 square is 1681 and 39 square is 1521. Do you want to know how did I calculate? It's very simple. You know 40 square which is 1600 and we'll write it here as well. So let's take a look here. So we know 40 square is equals to 1600 and we have to find 41 square. As we know 41 is greater than 40 so we have to do is add. Now what we'll add is the adjacent number and the number itself which is 40 and 41. So the num answer is 1681. Same way we know 39 is less than 40. So what we're going to do is from 1600 we're going to subtract the adjacent number and the number itself which is minus 40 and minus 39. So the answer is 15. One. So let's move to another example where we already know 75 square and we have to calculate 74 square and 76 square. So we'll calculate 76 square and 74 square. So the answer for 76 square is 5776 and answer for 74 square is 5476. Now I'll tell you how did I calculate. We know 75 square as I already explained it to you whenever we get a number whose ending with 5 the square is 25 and the number multiplied by the next integer which is 8 so 56. So 5625 is 75 square now since 76 square is greater than 75 so we have to add so we have to add 75 which is the adjacent number and 76 the number itself and the answer is 5776. Now 74 square we know the answer for 75 square is 5625. As this number is less than 75 square so we'll subtract the adjacent number and the number itself which is 75 minus 74 and the answer is 5476. So this is a quick trick for you guys where you know already the adjacent square and you have to find out the square for the next number or the previous number. I hope you all liked it. So keep watching and keep practicing so that you can start solving these problems without using pen and paper. And don't forget to subscribe.